Hello, welcome back to The Crafty Organizer. I'm Noreen Burke and on this channel, I love doing all types of tutorials for organizing, decluttering, upcycles, DIYs, and anything crafty. For the holidays, I love doing the 12 shares of Christmas. Today is day seven, and I am sharing this very fast tutorial on how to make wood slice ornaments that look like you are an amazing artist and spent hours, but you will not believe what I do to make these super fast fast and easy. For this project, I am using the wood slices. These came from Hobby Lobby because I couldn't find any at my Dollar Trees the way everyone else was. But basically we're going to be making these cute little ornaments that look like they're hand printed with chalkboard paint, but I am not an artist. So I have created a download for you that looks like it's chalk paint, but it is not. Now this is chalk paint on the back of this one and I just want you to see how similar they look. Now if you are a wonderful artist by all means get out your paint and paint something beautiful. Use this as a template or an example but if you are like me and you do not have a steady hand for this you're gonna love how easy this is. You can go ahead and come up with any idea you want on Canvas, on Microsoft Word. Download any image you want. Just make sure that it's reversed so the image is white and the background is black to mimic the chalkboard look. I have twine on here, but I think I'm gonna swap it out for a prettier ribbon. A set of four of these would make a beautiful gift, or you could make these as custom tags for your packages or stockings. I actually try and make it not look so perfect as I'm cutting around the outside because let's face it, when I'm painting a chalkboard background, it's not an exact circle. I just try and get as close as possible. I do want to make sure I cut off all of the white though. The other thing you'll want to do is make sure that you have it lined up to where the hole is so that you're not covering that. And then we're just going to put down a little bit of glue. I love the reptile glue because it does go pretty quick with drying and it doesn't ripple the way other glues do. Now with a paint pen, I'm just going to go in, do make sure it's primed first, and I'm just going to outline the best that I can to give it that paint look. What's nice about this is just the smallest details on here, you'll be able to see the brush strokes. So I'm only going on the larger spots because I don't have a steady enough hand for the small areas. We can add on a little bit of details here and there, just for a little bit of whimsy and fun. I'm gonna get the little comma. And again, I just want some brush strokes on here so that it looks like I really did write and paint all of this on there. So here are two. One was actually hand painted and one was the printable that I just went over with a little bit of chalk paint. This one took forever and this one took seconds, but I don't think if they're on a Christmas tree or a package, they would look any different. The wood grain and the circles still come through, especially after you varnish it on. But this just took seconds. So what's great about this is if you're doing names or specific designs, you can get so much more intricate and just have a steady hand. If you go outside a little bit, just get a black Sharpie and you can touch those lines up and neaten it again. And that will just add to the painted effect. What do you think of these? I am not a painter. I love the idea of handmade ornaments. I have just never had a steady hand. This allows me to give such a beautiful ornament that's intricate and really special for someone without having to get frustrated with my skills. So let me know if you'll be making these and let me know if you have another technique to add to this process. I'd love to learn some other shortcuts on ways to make these look beautiful and upscale, but without having to spend all of that time and energy learning a whole new skill.
Thank you so much for stopping by today. Day eight is so exciting tomorrow, so please make sure you're subscribed. As always, thank you to my patrons. I could not make these videos without their support and yours as well for stopping by, visiting, leaving me comments, clicking that like button. So thank you to you and thank you to the patrons and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.